Hey everybody, Ryan Mayer here. Today I want to talk to you about a, it's an image I saw on Instagram. It's a, a quote and the quote says, nothing can stop God's plan for your life, right? It says nothing can stop God's plan for your life. And you know, that sounds like a really nice phrase, but I don't think that's true because I, I believe that God has a plan for your life. Absolutely. But what does that require? It, God can have a plan all he wants, but he's given us free will, right? We know that not every single thing on the planet that happens is his will. How do I know that? Well, because uh, in 2 Timothy, it says God's will is that all men are saved and come to a knowledge of the truth, right? That's what it says. But is that going to happen? Will all men be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth? No. So right there, case closed. There are some things that happen that are not his will. Because some people are going to die in their sin. They're not going to be saved. So right there, we know that certain things that happen are not his will. And so I have the ability to choose right from wrong and good from evil and things like that. And so... God's plan, I know, for me, is for me to choose good over evil, always, as much as I can. And so, but what if I chose to do evil? That's not part of his plan, for me to choose evil, right? I have to cooperate with him. What, you know, when he's talking to different people throughout the Bible, you'll see that God, he, he, used, he, he works with human beings, and they, they have to cooperate with him, otherwise it doesn't work, Right? You know, if, if, if Noah didn't build an ark, you know, I, who knows, but, but he did, he had to, he had to say, okay, yeah, I'll do that. You know, um, King David, he had to say yes. Moses had to say yes. Right. So that's how it works. God works with people. And so they have to cooperate with him. He says, you have, uh, you have the ability to choose. I set before you life and death, blessings and cursings. Choose life. Please choose life. That's God's, he's he's appealing to us. Choose life. I want you to live, right? The penalty for sin is death. He doesn't want people to die in their sin. He wants people to live. So when people say there's nothing you can do to stop God's plan for your life, that that is not true. God, God can have a plan for your life and God, God can shift his plan. So say you, you decide to turn left. It's like, all right, well, there's a lot of options for you. But at the same time, if, if I choose to just, you know, what, what if, what if God's plan for my life is for me to do all these different things and I choose to commit suicide? Was that God's plan for my life? No, it wasn't. And it never is ever. So we have the ability to interrupt God's plan for our life by making bad decisions. Hopefully that makes sense. So my encouragement to you is to, for, for that, that God does have a good plan for your life. He is, he is, he's like, you know, not to, God is like the cheerleader of all cheerleaders, uh, encouraging us. He's the father on the, on the sideline, but he's not on the sideline. He's in there with us. He, but he's, he's the father encourage. He sees you in the game and he's cheering you on. That's, that's the God that we have who's equipping us and giving us everything that we need to succeed and to, to just crush life in, a, in the most awesome way. And he's equipped us. That's so, that's so cool that God, he's, he loves us so much that he would give us free will to choose right over wrong, that he didn't make us robots. We don't have to, like, we get to do whatever we want. We get to we get to love him or not. We get to choose to do the right thing or not. And there's something so amazing about that, the fact that he he get, he made us that way. He didn't have to. You know how I know God's not in in the control business. You know it says like Jesus take the wheel. Well, you know that that, that idea. I'm like Jesus doesn't really take the wheel, right? God is not in the controlling business. He doesn't want to control your life. Otherwise, I would never sin. And there's a there's a fire truck going on right now. God, we just pray that whoever that's going to, um, that, that you would help them get there as, as quickly as possible and that they could, uh, 
find the people that they're looking for and get them to the hospital and, and all that and that nobody would be seriously injured anyway. And if they are, then uh, we pray, God, that you would heal them in Jesus' name. I want to encourage you to pray whenever you hear that because somebody needs help. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. I hope that that is an encouragement to you and makes sense. Um, there's going to be a lot more about this uh, type of information in the book that I'm writing called Pray More, The Power of Persistent Prayer. And in that book, I talk about why people don't pray and how people, um, they don't think that they really have free will to make decisions. And so um, I talk about free will a lot in that book. So it's coming soon. So hopefully by the time you watch this, it'll be either out soon or coming soon. But you can go to PrayMoreBook.com if it's up. It might not be. And uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for, for watching these videos uh, and for rate, rating and commenting and subscribing. And uh, thank you so much. So God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.